welcome you all for today's section flip flops in our sequential circuits so as i said there are types of flip flops uh, in our syllabus we are going to discuss about four types of flip flops like uh, sorry five types of flip flops like um, sr flip flop jk flip flop d flip flop t flip flop then master slave flip flops okay so these are the types of flip flops which we are going to discuss yes sir flip flop jk flip flop t flip flop d flip flop and master flip flop yes sir flip flop is nothing but yes represents the set condition and or represents the reset condition jk flip flop is same like master slave flip flop t flip flop is a toggle type flip flop and d flip flop is a delay or direct flip flop and master slave flip flop is also a toggle condition flip flop so these are the types of flip flops now let us discuss about sr flip flop sr flip flop is nothing but set reset flip flop so here you can see a circuit see this circuit the first half first 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 phase is about two nand gates and in the second part you can see a cross coupled circuit that cross coupled circuit is a latch circuit that latch circuit is in your second part and in the first part you have two nand gates so we can use any gates according to the gates operation our circuit will work so here i have taken nand gate so we are going to discuss about the nand function we know very well if any of your input is zero the output is one and if both the input is high the output will be low this is the function of our nand gate nand gate is the vice versa of and gate nand gate is the vice versa of your and gate so here this is the block diagram of sr flip flop your inputs are s and r we have given a clock pulse here and the outputs are q and q bar q and q bar are always complement to each other if q is 0 then your q bar will be 1 and if q is 1 your q bar will be 0 so the inputs is s and r and we have given a common clock as another input for s and r um so the next uh, second half is a cross couple circuit initially let us assume q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1 now what will be the next state if our input s and r if we give clock pulse so while we give a cross coupled is nothing but we are giving a few part of output from output as a input to the nand gate that is the cross coupled circuit here for example if s or for two stable two input our inputs are 0 0 0 1 0 so first condition is our clock pulse is high that is 1 let us assume our clock pulse is high that is 1 and our output is in a stable state like q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1 so if we give s 0 and r 0 and clock pulse is 1 for both the gates one of the input will be 0 if any input is zero then automatically your output will be one in nand gate so the both the outputs of let us uh, uh, mention let us assume the second gates as g1 n g1 g2 and the first two gates are g3 g4 so the outputs of g3 and g4 is one so this g3 and g4 output is given to g1 and g2 so while these inputs are given you have a feedback output like q is equal to 0 automatically 0 will be one of your input for nand uh, g2 gate and 1 will be one of the input of your g2 gate g1 gate so your q will be 1 and your q bar will be there won't be any change so whatever we assumed in before giving input like q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1 the same will be in the next state so if your inputs are 0 and 0 0 0 there won't be any change in your output so q n plus 1 may be your 
um, next stage it is no change okay your q and q n q bar will be there won't be any change in your q and q bar if your input is 0 1 same if you give like input and 0 for s and r like 0 and 1 then your output q will be 0 and q bar will be 1 and if your input is 1 0 then the output will be 1 and 0 next toggle condition 1 1 means that is invalid so first one first condition is no change second condition if your q bar is 1 it is reset state and if q1 it is set state and the fourth condition is invalid this is the basic truth table from this basic truth table we have to frame the characteristic table as same your s and r will be your inputs and qn will be the present state and qn plus 1 will be the next state so 0 0 if your s and r is 0 0 what is your q output in the previous table basic truth table of sr flip flop 0 0 means there won't be any change whatever present in your present state will be the same in the next state so in your q n plus 1 we are getting the same 0 and 1 for the first two condition likewise by considering the truth table basic truth table we have framed this characteristic table and with this characteristic table we have plotted the k map and with the k map we got one expression characteristics that is said to be a characteristic equation then we have framed with the outputs we have framed the excitation table your present state and next state will be the input and sr will be the output so this is all about our sr flip flop thank you